Today we're going to do the comparison between an ICOM R30 and the AR AR8200 Mark III at family service radio frequencies. That's about 400 and 462 megahertz. And so I r drove a, about a three mile loop and I stopped at various locations. The first location was about uh, three quarters of a mile away. The second location was a mile away. The third location was about three quarters of a mile away on the back. And the fourth location was about a half a mile away over a ridge. And so let's get started here. So here is the um, ARO at uh, three quarters of a mile. Okay, and here's the uh, ICR30, the R30, at the same location, three quarters of a mile away. And they were both quite hearable, but I, I think the AOR was a little bit better. And so we'll go to the next location, which was about a mile away down in a valley. And uh, try it again. And so here's the AOR. And here's the R30. And uh, again, the AOR was significantly better there. Uh, and so we'll go to the next spot, which was about maybe three quarters of a mile away, a half a mile away over a ridge. And uh, here's the AOR. AOR. And here's the ICOM. R30. And again, they were both quite hearable, but the AOR uh, had less noise in it. And they both have the noise limiting turned on. Okay, and then here's the last location, which is about a half a mile away over a ridge. Okay, that was the AOR, and here's the R30. And so that was at the family service radio frequencies, about 462 megahertz. And we're running off a split antenna with exactly the same leads, length of leads going to the machines. And uh, there's no question about it. The AOR outdid the ICOM R30 by a significant amount. I mean, if you can hear the difference, it means there's a lot of difference.